You said he'd reply to it. Jero, don't think about it too much. I did a fucking photo shoot just for one fucking reply to that tweet? How can I not think about it? He probably doesn't even care about me. Okay, listen here. You need to calm down. I hate seeing you this stressed out, especially when you've never shown interest in anyone. So stop worrying and help me make some popcorn. We're going to watch a movie. Only if it has action in it. Fine. Thanks, Mama. Anything for my babies. Maybe I can talk to Shoto, see if Kami said anything to him about you. That way you don't think this is one way. Okay, but make sure Todoroki is alone when you ask him. That way Kami doesn't think I'm desperate. <sighs> Kyoka, you are. Jiro waved to Yayorozu before closing their dorm room. With her guitar in hand, she began to walk down the hall. Band was always a fun time, especially when Tokoyami wanted to practice. He was insane on the guitar, but a lot of the times he would be his depressed self and just play some dragged out chords. Today was different, however. He had a piece in mind that he wanted the group to try out. Jiro knew this would be fun. Kyoka! A loud voice called from behind her. Jiro turned her head to see a beautiful, dumb blonde sprinting to her location. Kaminari's hair was flowing behind him and stood up again as he slowed his pace and made his way closer to her. He was bent over, breathing heavily and sweating down his forehead. Did you just run a marathon? Jiro joked. She could see the smile form on Kami's face as he lifted his head to meet her eyes. They did have a sparkle. Momo was right. <sighs> oh hey! Sorry, I was just passing by and... You were sprinting down the hall, screaming my name for all the others to hear, just to pass by me. Kyoka cut him off with a sly smirk. She dropped her guitar on the floor and crossed her arms. If he really did like her like Momo said he did, Jiro would make him work for it. Uh, no, sorry. Kami was now sweating more than before he was running. Jiro took a quick glance at his hands. They were sparking slightly, making her blush a little more. Where are you going? He asked. Band practice? Jiro said, picking up her guitar. The smirk still stuck on her face. At this point, she didn't know whether she was using it to make Kami squirm a little, or if she genuinely couldn't stop smiling at how hot he was. He had a yellow sweater with a black lightning bolt on it and baggy beige shorts. Kyoka could feel her body melt. I'll walk you there. Kami quickly replied, smiling like a giddy idiot. His hands were crammed in his sweater pockets, and his head was dropped slightly, hiding the obvious sheet of pink in his cheeks. Jiro punched him in the shoulder lightly, and Kami simply stuck out his tongue at her. They joked and chatted while they made their way to the music room. So what are you doing next week? Jiro asked. She was tired of waiting for him. Oh, that's actually why I'm here. They reached the music room, Kami leaning against the wall. Me and Shoto are going to the extra study session so Momo can help us. Well, mostly me. Shoto is just going to be with his girl. I was wondering if you'd like to join me. Us! Join us! Jiro walked towards the door and placed her guitar inside. She looked at Kami and gave him a sweet smile. I'd love to go with you. She said, her face quickly heating up. Kami's did the same as he let out a massive held-in breath. Awesome! I'll see you then! Kami walked away from the music room before turning his head back. And by the way, that photo shoot. You look cute. He held up his fingers in a peace sign before turning the corner. Jiro's jaw dropped as she turned towards the music room, slamming the door behind her. She let out the girliest screech she had ever heard herself make and began laughing. He worked himself up the whole time, only to say something like that. He was amazing.
Whose music do I hear? It sounds awesome! That would be the band. We're practicing a new song that Tokoyami liked. And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> not what I expected. That earphone jack. Dark Shadow picked the song. It's not bad, right? But Eternal Darkness? You bet. I just didn't expect you to like the style of stuff is all. Ooh! Mon ami! What is the song? At Glamour Glamour, we ain't telling you shit. At Glitter Glamour, what Kachan is trying to say is we're performing it after exams are done. Kind of like a concert. Oh, does that mean we have to wait until exams are over? At Uravity, we only have just under a month. Don't worry, it'll happen before you know it. At Earphone Jack, is it a rap song? I'm a bust to move to that. At Flex Tape. Dude, the last time you tried dancing was when Mina challenged you, and you face went into the splits. How does that happen? Ah, Flex Tape. You're gonna bust more than a move. Maybe your left nut. At Pinky, bold of you to assume he has both nuts. Hmm. Hmm. They have both. Y'all need to calm your milk jugs. I'm mildly scared. At Brain Dead. You get used to it. Don't worry. That was a pretty good first band session. Eh, yeah, Kyoka? Shinso? How do you get my number? I stole your phone and put my own number. Anything wrong with that? Um, maybe the idea of you stealing my phone? You literally could have asked, too. Sorry. I'll ask next time I want to steal it. Very funny. I'm glad you enjoyed the band. You're a pretty good bass player. Glad you think so. That is my contact name on your phone, after all. Oh my god, it is. You're never getting my phone again. It was clever at the time, okay? What are you up to next Wednesday? We should get together and practice again. Normally, the band only practices on Sundays. Besides, I have a commitment already. Oh, come on. You want to see Bass Boy lob it up to his name, right? It'll just be one time. That way we can catch up more. I really can't, Shinso. Maybe another day? Please. Ugh, fine. Wednesday at three. Sounds like a plan.